Welcome to Shine. Today we have a special guest on the show, Colton. Colton! My son. And my brother. We're so happy to have him. And we're going to be talking today about the ridiculous notion of New Year's resolutions. We all know how those turn out. Taco, quesadilla, Snapchat this Facebook picture of me and my friends and put it on Instagram. I saw it on Pinterest. My Twitter followers are gonna love it. Obviously, long lists of resolutions don't work. And what my family has decided to do this year is to rather choose one word. One word that we're gonna lay over each of our lives for the entire year, that we're gonna pound on inside our thinking, our prayers, and we're gonna ask God to change us according to one word. I wanna recommend this book, I love it. It's called My One Word, is it allows you to really focus in on what you hope God will do in your life through that word for a year. It really takes the scatterbrain off a list of things you want to do or goals and it puts it on one word that can lay over your life. So one of the ways we like to capture this one word is to literally have it on a rock, a monument that you can look at. And I actually found these in a store. I gave it to each of my family members but you could find a rock outside. You can grab a sticky note and write it down and put it on a mirror that you always, you know, get dressed in front of every morning. Or me as like a former baseball player, I know, you know, I don't go anywhere without my glove or my hat. You know, write it on the inside brim of your hat so you always see it before every game or on your glove so you have it with you before every game. That one word can really help you get through those hard times.
you know, I truly saw the value of having one word like we're talking about without even realizing that that's what I was doing at the time. Um, a few weeks ago, I live out in LA. I'm working in the film industry as a filmmaker and, and an actor. And I was just having a really tough time at the moment. You know, it's sort of it's one of the toughest things you can do is move out to Hollywood with thousands of other people trying to make it in, a, in an industry where you know, very few make it. Yeah. Struggling with work, struggling with relationships, struggling with loneliness, depression, everything that you go through when you move out on your own and really don't know many people. I remember standing in my room and I just couldn't even breathe. This was like two weeks ago and I couldn't breathe, I couldn't move. I remember literally I had to kneel in the middle of my room. I felt like I was suffocating. And I remembered back that I bought a ring that had Proverbs 3, 5 on it. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not into your own understanding. And I just went searching for it as fast as I could. I was scrambling, looking through my desk, looking through all the articles of clothing, looking through pockets of old jeans. I was like, I knew I had that rock, that, that ring somewhere. And then actually I stumbled upon this rock, the rock with the word trust on it. And once I saw this, I grabbed it off my desk and I rubbed the word so hard, I thought I was gonna rub the writing right off the rock. I, seriously, I couldn't let go. I just immediately felt the weight just be lifted off my shoulders. I knew in my head that I needed to trust God in everything that I was doing, that he had a plan for me, but it wasn't until I was able to grab onto this tangibly, to have this in my hand that I realized Okay, it's gonna be okay. Colton, that is such a good story. It's such a reminder, friends, that it sounds simple, a word on a rock, but that really was the catalyst to help him get through those moments. And so we just encourage you, let us know what your word is. We've got them, we want you to have a word too. We would love to know what your word is. So this new year, why don't you just drop the list of resolutions and choose one word. Let that one word impact you this entire year. Thanks for joining us for Shine. Each week we have brand new episodes, so you're not gonna wanna miss any. Go ahead and click the subscribe button below and you'll get your next episode. We'd love to stay connected with you, so follow us on all of our social media by clicking any of the links you see here. And if there's a topic you'd like us to cover on Shine, just leave us a comment below. Okay, guys, till next week, don't, don't forget, forget to shine! shine.